Hey, somebody asked us to build a camping checkbox. What's a camping checkbox? I don't have a clue, but oh, we're going to build it. <laughs> Let's Google what a checkbox is. Turns out a camping chuck box happens to be a box where you put your chuck or food or utensils or stuff you need to sustain you while you're camping. Generally believe that chuck box evolved from a chuck wagon. Chuck and grub are cowboy terms for food. This is a really simple build. It's got 75% use of an entire one sheet of plywood, so we're good. We're gonna cut it first on the track saw. Right. And then we're gonna move it over to the table saw. So take this one. Right. Right. And then take this one off the edge, and then we cut this straight across. across. You need the dust hook up on that or no? <laughs> Thank you. And this is why you have shop help. <laughs> These are supposed to be how long? 23. Uh, these are 32 and 3 quarters. I chose the wrong side. This is what happens when you film these things on a Monday. Okay, we have everything cut, laid out, labeled. We're gonna wrap some of this in sapili instead of edge banding it because I like the contrast. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna laser design on the lid. She's not aware, so why don't you go actually finish putting together the laser and I will mill some sapili. Aye, aye, Captain. Mark it will go a little bit long and then we'll technical noise. So peel is an oily wood, so we're gonna clean it off with acetone before we glue it up. I guess I should mention we're using tight bond three because it's waterproof. So in the interest of saving time, pin nails. Where are we gonna put this? Now, if you want to build one of these yourselves, you can get the plans on our website. I don't remember the damn code. Now, if you want to build one of these yourselves, you can get the plans on our website, www.thecraftywiener.com, under Blueprints and Plans. We're going to be so efficient, we're not going to know what to do with ourselves. Day two, everything's out of the clamps, glue up is done, it looks fantastic, now it's time for us to sand. Ugh. Right? This is a lot, this is gonna be a lot of sanding, but luckily, we have a drum sander. Let's go. All right. The idea behind it is you use the iron and it melts the glue, but the part that I don't understand is how long you leave it on. There's a 50% chance that I'm going to catch it on fire. Ta-da! I think it worked. I gotta get the cutter thingy. Anybody know how to use this thing? <laughs> Boy. Well, I, I conceptually know how it works. That's not the problem. We're going to pocket screw it. Pocket screws take a bad rap sometimes. Mm -hmm. Right? Let us know what you think about pocket screws. <laughs> we just opened up a can of worms. But this is half inch plywood, so it's gonna get thrown around. Let's start by pocket screwing the, um, the bottom to the sides.
this is screwed to this. This is screwed here and screwed to here. This, it, it won't go anywhere. We could throw it out of a moving car. Yeah. Let's, let's not, though. Yeah, let's not, let's not do that. We're not, we're not, we're not. It's still hot At this point, this thing is so over-engineered. <laughs> Would you do all of this? <laughs> like... Oh, hell no. You um, can't reach all the way down there, can you? No. Uh -oh. I'm not sure how I thought this one through. It's always about size. Oh look, the extender. You ready? Ta -da. Now the now the drill's gonna be too big. <laughs> um, okay, we need a small drill, but we don't have one. So don't do this at home. Chuck goes into 90 degree thing, 90 degree thing goes into extender. And then we stick it in the hole. And pray to God. pocket holes. Ah! Let the glue set up and then we will come and cut them flush. <laughs> Grab an old deck of playing cards, put them between your flush trim saw and your plywood when you cut your plugs and that way you don't mark up your plywood. Makes for a clean cutting surface. I mean, next time to actually put my dust mask on. Preserva wood, picked it up at the big box store. Um, it's a penetrating oil and stain sealer. I use this on the great Adirondack chair build off that I did with James King uh, about a year and a half ago. What I like about it is it's actually gonna penetrate into the wood and it's gonna seal it. They say it's one coat, but a lot of times I'll just put a second coat on. It's also a high solids. High solids means it's got really, really good UV protection. The best moment ever, right? This is actually when I start to cry. So I'm just gonna turn my back to you. Alrighty, let's get some hinges on this. So yeah, it's gonna go like, like that. that. Oh, that's gonna look so pretty. Yeah. What do you think? So yeah. you ready to do this or are you gonna You wanna get some magnets here in the front to help hold it closed. Took a drill bit collar and I marked it taking a magnet, put the magnet at the flat part of the drill bit, not the, the tip, but the flat part, and mark the collar. That way the magnet's actually gonna sit right flush with the wood.
there you go, a camping chuck box. That was a pretty fun build. Yeah, it really, really was. And you know what? If you want to build it yourself, make sure you check out the plans at craftybeaner.com and check out this other video. And thanks for watching. See you next time.